I was already facing cases. I didn't know they were looking for me. So yeah, I catch the cases. And so one day they came to class. Me and Derek Brooks in class, we just, went, got, we just got there early in the morning. And they came to class looking for me. And that's how they got me. Okay, so, so you really didn't get to attend traditional high school as a free person? For the 10th, 11th, and 12th grade? No, nah, just the 10th, well, the, well, with the 10th and 11th, I returned back for the 12th. And I was able to graduate in my 12th grade year. But instead, I stayed at Pastor Robles playing ball. So I graduated Pastor Robles High School. Oh, okay. I graduated from Pastor D. Robles High School in Pastor D. Robles. Is, and now, um, is this a, a, a program that they have where you in, when you're in custody in Paso, they let you go to the school there? Yes, yeah. Okay, yeah. and then That's just, how we play ball, too, because you... You, was, you know how you get the, uh, your day passes? Yeah, that's how, because I was a part of that program. So the school didn't mind having people that were incarcerated right there in Paso to, to play? Because not everybody at, at that high school is, is in jail. Oh, right? hell no. <laughs> when, when I got there, it was already programmed like that because Pastor DeRose was, was the baddest football team up there. Then you had Mariposa, you had Mariposa, and then the list goes on. But they was the baddest CYA team up there. They were the baddest, so yeah. They had already had programs established for that, but you had to have a certain privilege, you know, to be able to get in them programs. The homie Madbone from H. Trey Gangster, a beast. That nigga was, see, like Madbone was the, the only grown man in YA, bro, to me. <laughs> True story, man. I'm talking about Monster Cody, rest in peace. At, at this time, it was like, we was young. We was a little young, cocky little niggas just now hitting the weights. And, but Madbone was like a grown ass man to us, man. That nigga, I'm talking about two of my hands, one hand, man. You feel me? And I literally see that nigga slap the hell out of a motherfucker. I mean, literally slap that nigga. You can hear from here across the, all the way to the other side of the track. That's how, how hard he slapped him. But Madbone was a big ass young, a big youngster, man, in YA. Like a grown ass man, man. Because some of, some of these cats can get, can get violated, come back to YA. At 19, 20, 21 years old. Yep. But 25 there, is the max. Yeah, and you could be 15 in there. <laughs> yep. <right>? So <laughs> that was the difference about YA. And that's what groomed you for the prison system. Because it was like, nigga, you, you in this, you, this grown ass man shit in here, man. This ain't no boy shit, man. I mean, YA was vicious, bro. Because, you know, YA was like, that was the, you know, the pivoting, the, the training course that trains you for the penitentiary system. Period. YTS, Pastor Robles, and Nellis. Shit, man, off the hook, man. Wasn't no joke. And which one did you spend most time in that those three? Uh, Paso, then for Paso, I, I kicked off a ride in Paso, so they, they shipped me for Paso. That's how I messed myself up, too, for us being able to go on further with my, with my football situation right before I'm paroling. And then they transferred me from there to TS, and I ended up paroling for, for TS. So in TS, it was me, my homie, Bunny on the Rat Dog, Rat Dog, rest in peace, Bunny on the Bill Bill. Uh, who else was there with us uh, from the hood? Um, shit, I know definitely them three was on the Oh, I think, was Michael Snell there with us? No, Mike wasn't there, but it was a couple of us at that time at TS. And then I paroled from TS. Oh, my relative Casper was on the yard too. We was in the same building. We was in S building, S and T building together. You know what I mean? But yeah, man, um, just, you know, just, just, just taking back, going back down them lanes, man, and just, have a remembrance of certain things, man. It, it's, you know, it, it, was a, it was a time, man, when, they, you know, we thought and we believed in what we believed in, you know, we thought, you know, it was a real call. Thanks for watching StreetTV.net. If you're not subscribed, please hit that button below and click the bell to receive alerts and notifications. Feel free to comment below so you can give us your feedback and be sure to watch the two related episodes to the right. If you want to support this platform or follow us on social media, visit the links in the description. And thanks for watching StreetTV.net.